What's going on guys? I got an interesting video for you guys today. I got something in the mail. I don't know much about it, but I wanted to share it with you guys today and we're obviously gonna check it out in this video. It is called the Blur Guard. So I'm gonna pull my phone out in a minute guys and we'll look into it a little bit more. But as far as I know guys, it is called the Blur Guard. It is made to go from about a half to a one and a half. So I guess the idea is that you can like clip her over comb, set up the haircut, do your open section, and then you can use one guard to blend everything together. We will have to see, you guys know my system, I would use three or four guards to go through that step. So I'm kind of curious to see if this is gonna work out just using this one guard. But I wanna pull my phone out real quick and check the website and see if there's any more details that can tell us how to use this thing. All right guys, so here it is on the website. It is called the Blur Guard. Blurguard.com is the website. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It is $20, so that's pretty high for one guard. But I will say, for somebody to go out and make these themselves and get an order like that, they probably did pay a little bit more than when you guys buy them in a set, like when Wall makes them by the thousands, you know, it's a little bit cheaper. So that does make sense. But it is $20 for one. It's got some details down here at the bottom. It says, Blur Barber Guard was created to help blur haircuts from a half closed and opens to a one and a half. Are you still using the half guard and then a one on your fades? This was created as a new system to help eliminate those steps if used correctly. While clippering over comb with its attachment on it also creates the softness of a texturizing shear, not leaving hard lines in the hair. It was not created to remove bulk. It was created at Oscar's Barbershop, a 26 year licensed barbershop with the knowledge to help with today's demanding haircuts. We like to use it for tapers, fades, and setting half fades, not forgetting texturizing. All right guys, so that is it on the website itself. If you guys wanna check it out, it is blurguard.com. So yeah, guys, I don't really know. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. I guess I'm gonna to have to cut it. And here it is. Man, I can't get it to focus. This uh, this really is the blur guard. There we go. So there it is, guys. Blur, you can see on the front. Well, I guess it's upside down. We'll go ahead and flip that over for you. Blur guard there. We kind of look at it from the side. You guys can see it. It's kind of flat back here, but a little bit thicker at the front. I mean, it almost looks like a one guard, but obviously, guys, this is all plastic. I don't know if it's 3D printed or how it is made. Looks like it'll snap on well. I'll throw it on a clipper here in a second so you guys can check it out. But yeah, like the video said, guys, the idea is that I guess you can do your open section and then use this to blend all the way up into about a number two. So that will maybe work work with the system that I use. You guys know I like to start off by clearing a panel, setting a panel to do my taper or fade up into, cutting it down to like a two and then I fade up into it. So I'm absolutely gonna test this thing out. I more than likely won't implement it all the time because you guys know if I'm gonna record for YouTube, I want you guys to be able to follow along and use things that you can use. So I use guards that you can use that most of us have. I use steps and processes that everybody can go about using and make it pretty easy and comfortable. So if you don't have one of these, then you're not gonna be able to do it the way I do it with this. But we will test it out in this video and see if it really works. Now guys, I'm I'm gonna throw it on my boosted and it won't snap on. That's not good. All right, so it won't fit the boosted. We'll try it on the Babyliss. Okay, takes a little pressure. So you guys can see I got it on the Babyliss Custom FX. It did take a little bit of pressure to snap on. I think this big tab right here is what would not let it snap onto the boosted. So that's unfortunate. You guys know that's my main clipper that I use, but it looks pretty sweet on this. It matches the lime green at the bottom. And if it does what it says it's gonna do, it might be solid. Now guys, I did just notice, if you look at the teeth, the way that they sit on there, they are kind of moving around and the one in the middle is poking up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, not exactly a perfect fit to go over the teeth of the clipper and that may cause a little bit of inconsistency while we're cutting, so. Go ahead and throw it on the senior. I'm just gonna test a couple guys and see. Yeah, so it does the same thing. So when I snap it down on the senior, you guys can see the teeth are pushed up and uneven. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, guys. That's obviously gonna cause an uneven cut. It is flat from this standpoint, but these are definitely uneven on the top. So not really sure how that's gonna work, but we will absolutely test it out in a haircut. I'll let you guys know if this is gonna handle going from the one and a half to the half, like it says it does. We may just have to do it the old school way, but we will check it out as soon as I get a haircut that I can use it on, and I'll let you guys know what I think. All right, guys, we're gonna test out this blur guard right here on my man Drew. This is a number two already. We've done our open section. So the idea here is that the blur guard is gonna allow us to go from what would be the half guard would be next up to the two. So I'm gonna do this side one way. We're gonna do the other side another way. Over here, we're gonna bump our line up as I saw on their Instagram. We're gonna start with it all the way closed. We're just gonna slowly bump it up. So we'll just go up a little bit. You guys hear it rattling. You guys saw in the first part of the video where it's hitting the teeth pretty bad. So that's kind of a downfall. I think, but now we're halfway open. We're going up a little bit higher. And again, guys, the goal here is to go from a half to a one and a half, which should connect to this two. So you see that worked our way up a little bit higher. Now we'll open it all the way. And this should connect us into our number two. So on this side, guys, I am bumping it up. On the other side, we're going to fade down and see, you know, if it's any easier, if it operates any different. But you guys can see, I guess really technically it did what it said. Now I'm on the fourth notch. I'm just gonna kind of polish it up. But you guys can see technically it has done what it says it will do. It has connected 
our open section up to the two. A little bit different. You guys know when you do it in different steps, it does keep you a little more accurate and kind of keep the uh, the design or the shape of the haircut the way that we want. And when we do it this way, we got to kind of you know finesse it ourselves and make sure that we know where we're trying to be and you know keep the haircut how we want. But you guys can see it did absolutely connected from the half to the two. Now we'll move him over here and we're gonna fade down. All right, so I'm gonna fade down here, guys. We're gonna start with it all the way open and I'm gonna basically try to just connect in to the number two, make sure that it is all basically a one and a half. It's not technically a one and a half because this is a blur guard, but we're gonna make sure that it connects in. We don't wanna see any guidelines. Kind of work my way all the way across. You guys can see it is doing that. Like I said, this was a two closed. So we are connected into the two closed, pretty nice. Now we'll go ahead and close it a notch. We're gonna go right below where we just were, connect into the all the way open. Let's continue to work our way down so fourth notch third notch you guys we have all the way down until this line to get this finished so now we're on the third notch go second right above the line you guys can see that it is working now we'll close it all the way up take that line out you guys can hear it rattling that drives me nuts I did see I think I actually messaged the guy and I had told him that I didn't love how it fit right here and he told me just to let the clipper grind the plastic out of the way, which that's, uh, I don't know. I don't really love the idea of that. I think it should come, you know, nice and clean and fit right, but I guess that will work, so. I don't know if you guys can see, but a slight line still right here that this close is not getting out. So of course it depends on your clipper. This is a taper blade, so it is not as short, but you guys can see, I mean, it is making the transition. It's just a little bit different, you know, using one guard, but it, it is making the transition up. Obviously he has this bright red, orange hair, so it's a little bit difficult, a little bit different than, you know, other textures. But you guys can see the guard is doing what it says it's gonna do. All I really have left to do is to come in with the clipper open right here and just take this last little line out. So it pretty much did what it said. It is not taking the open line out, but again, it is on a taper blade and the taper blade is a little bit longer. So maybe if it would fit on my boost it would do a better job of taking the line out but you guys did see on the boosted it will not even go onto the clipper so we're just going to, have to use it like this but you guys can see that we have accomplished the taper pretty clean it does what it says it's going to do and uh yeah not too bad all right guys so for my final thoughts on the blur guard probably wouldn't recommend it for beginners but i actually am impressed it definitely did what it says it's going to do i was actually definitely thinking it was not going to work i showed you guys a few things how it kind of fits the teeth against the clippers it did not fit on my boosted it does fit on my fx it fits a little weird but if you kind of press the teeth down it will go over that steel blade and fit a little bit better but it actually did go from the half up to the one and a half blended right into the two ended up using it on the babyliss with the taper blade and it would not quite take the open line out from the half guard or what the half guard would usually do. So kind of an adjustment, obviously depending on what clipper and what blade you guys have would determine how this works. So like I said, a beginner, I would not really recommend that you grab one of these and go about it. But if you are a skilled veteran barber and you know what you're doing, this could skip a couple steps for you. Honestly, I'm not gonna keep this out and do away with my guards. Guys, you know for YouTube, I use all my guards. They're colored and they match and you guys can follow along and all that. So probably won't be implementing this soon, but it is kind of a cool add-on and it did do what it said that it was gonna do. Now if you guys wanna check it out, head to blurguard.com. I'm gonna put it right here. If you guys like the video, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got a bunch of equipment reviews and unboxings and all that good stuff coming soon. Appreciate you guys checking out this review on the Blur Guard. I'll catch you guys next time.